welcome to today's episode of Inspiring Ones. On today's show, we actually have with us Miss Stacey Herrera. She is a sensuality activist. Oh my gosh, so she's the first person who's going to be talking about this topic on the show. So I know that it's going to be a very, very interesting and juicy day today on the show. So she not only works with women who are a bit disconnected from their feelings, which also helps them to get in touch with their six senses. Yeah, that's right, six senses, not five, six. And so I am absolutely excited to have you on the show today, Stacey. Welcome, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Nice. Oh my gosh. So tell us, tell us about you. Tell us what you do. What what is what is a sensuality? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um I I guess it's kind of like coaching, but mostly I help women to reconnect with themselves and their sensual selves. Mm -hmm. And not just in a sexual way, but really sensuality is also about being present. Yeah. Because when you are connected to your senses, all six of them. You cannot time travel, so you have to be present. Like when you're smelling things and being present in your body and tasting things, you know, you, you have to be present. So it, so it really cultivates a presence. And there, of course it's about sex, but, <laughs> which, which is great. Like, and then, you know, when you are present like in your body, you enjoy sex in a whole different level. So it's really about cultivating a life of connection and presence and pleasure. Wow. You know, I love the fact that you explained that it's not just about like sex, um, about sex, but the fact that when we're smelling, and you're so right, it's, it's com being completely present because when you're mm -hmm. smelling, you're taking the time to listen and you're taking the time to, to taste and to see, to observe around you. Exactly. You have a much bigger experience of the world. So you're, that is just phenomenal. I actually never thought about it like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Great, great. That is amazing. So tell me, now we know that on our journey, you know, all of us here trying to make an impact in the world, on your journey, tell me about a challenge that you've actually had, one of the biggest challenges that you've had to face. Oh my goodness, I've got a good one. Actually, one that helped me to, to start this path. Mm -hmm. um, I was working at a job that was really soul-sucking. Like it was very exhausting and I was very unhappy and I was making myself sick. Yeah. And um, I physically made myself so sick um, that I developed a condition and I ended up um, losing sight in my left eye. Wow. And so I was hospitalized and um, some of the sight returned but most of it didn't. Mm -hmm. And so um, as a result of that though, I was able to experience vision in a way that I had never had before because I really hadn't realized how many layers there are to vision. Mm -hmm. And um, But since that happened to me, like my other senses are a lot more heightened. Wow. <laughs> so um, it gave me a different experience in the world because I'm now using my senses in a different way mm -hmm. that I didn't really have access to before because I wasn't being present. Yeah. <laughs> And so um, that was, it was hard though. Like, you know, it was, it was hard and I was, I'm like optimistic by default. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have a pity party about it, but it's been a challenge. Like, yeah. um, you know, and some days still are, but as a result of that, if I hadn't had that experience, which was eye opening, literally, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would, I would have not taken this journey because I would, I didn't, I wasn't in my body. I thought I was, but I wasn't. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, when you think about it, when you think about it, it's as if, if you, if you hadn't gone through that challenge, your, your biggest thing now that is your, that you're passionate about, which is sensuality and helping other people to actually become present and connected with their senses, their entire, all their entire body. You wouldn't have had it, right? We wouldn't be sitting here talking to a sensuality activist. You'd probably be at, at your soul-sucking job and not being able to empower people. And I know that many persons who are watching the show today, they are in unhappy situations, whether it's an unhappy job or an unhappy relationship or an, an unhappy, just they're not fully happy with where they are in their life right now. 
And I know that by you sharing this story, many of them are thinking, hmm, I wonder. <laughs> you know, so guys, remember that just because you're going through a challenge now, sometimes this this challenge will have a silver lining. You know, this cloud will have a silver lining. And this is how you'll be able to impact the world and actually go out and be, be a beacon or be a light. So tell me, um, Stacey, all right, so you had this challenge, which of mm -hmm. course you have completely turned this around, and you are, of course, it's still a challenge, but every day you're growing and growing and you're using it, you know, to uplift others. So tell me, what what do you find helped you the most in, in keeping grounded, in staying grounded? I know you said that you are already a positive person, but what else, what do you do to keep you focused and keep you motivated? Um, it's a daily journey. I think one of the most important things for me has been giving myself permission to feel however I feel. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and that means sometimes I don't feel good and that's okay. Like instead of trying to rush through and, and trying not to feel like that, which just makes it worse, but just giving myself the space to feel however I feel has been very, very important. And by being present in my body, though, I can move through those things a lot faster. True. Because you can't, um, most of the time when we are suffering, it's because we are either time traveling to the past mm -hmm. or future tripping. It's never what's happening right now. <laughs> you know, it's never right now that's the problem. It's you, And it's usually about a thought that you're having. It's not usually even the experience that you're having. It's the thoughts you're having about the experience that are causing you to suffer. Definitely. So by being present, though, you just don't have to do that. And I'm not saying I'm good at it every day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so not good at it every it. day. But but I'm mindful of it. So when I realize that that's what I'm doing, I can make the shift. Yeah. But I love that, that you made that point about the time traveling because many of us, you know, we're unhappy. But you're right. It doesn't come from what's going on in the present moment. Yes, in the present moment, there are things going on. But if we were actually more present, Rather than thinking time traveling back to, oh my God, mm -hmm. I can't believe that happened. Or but what if that happens? Or what if that doesn't happen in the future? And it kind of, it, it's really a, an unhappy place to be because not all the memories of the past and not all the thoughts of the future come in a positive way if we mm -hmm. are always constantly worried about it. So I guess a message from that point would be to everyone, again, being present. Not just with your senses, but also enjoying living in each moment. Because the exactly. past, focusing on the past and worrying about the present, it doesn't help you. As she said, she, you said earlier that you actually made yourself sick. You know what I mean? You said that it was you that was like stressing about all these things that created yes. this condition for you. So guys, chill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and worry, worry is a prayer. Yeah. You know, worry is a prayer. Every time we are sitting and steeping in what we're worried about, what we're doing is praying for more things to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> it's a prayer. So what, oh my God, that is so powerful. Worrying is a prayer. Whatever you are worrying about, that's what you're asking for. Exactly. I'm going to have to write that down for me as well. You know, someone told me that. That, that. I wish that was my wisdom. No, it isn't though. I can't. <laughs> someone told me that. And I was like, wow, like that's so true. You know, because what we focus on grows. So if, yeah. if everything that you're focusing on is negative, yeah. then you'll create that. And and in being accountable for how you feel and what's happening in your life is the most important thing you could ever do. Because then you know if, like when I thought, like, wow, like this is the worst thing I've ever done to myself. That was the first thing I said to myself. Like, wow, this is the worst thing that I've ever done to myself. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, like, wow, if I can blind myself, that means I can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> the flip side of the coin. We are, exactly. We are we powerful. We are powerful, and sometimes we don't realize just how influential we are to ourselves. Yes. Like if you can blind it, that you know, I like the fact that you are looking at it from this way. You know, because many persons they will have a challenge and they like beat themselves up about it, but you look at it and say, oh wow, that means I'm super like talented. Exactly. I like. But that. you know, that also meant that I could heal myself. Uh, so I didn't, you know, like I was on medications and I stopped them and I was like, this isn't, this doesn't feel good in my body mm -hmm. and I'm going to give my body the time and the space to do what it does best. It's designed to heal itself. Yeah. So, you know, but I'm like, I'm that powerful. Like if I can make myself sick, I can make myself well. That's 
that's right i love it so you listen you see, you see guys like there's so many inspiring messages in this show today you better be taking notes and if you're not taking notes rewind start from the beginning <laughs> get your book and your pen and start taking notes because if you don't use this wisdom today tomorrow you will have to use it or next week you will have to use it but these these are important important points that she's teaching us here today okay guys um so Stacey, one more question. When you were in that soul-sucking job, as you called it, and mm -hmm. you were frustrated, you were just unhappy, what advice would you give to that Stacey? Looking back now, what advice would you have given her to make it easier for her? Um, I would tell her to, to trust and have faith and that you don't have to suffer. Like Because I was making up stories about why I couldn't leave, and none of it was true. Okay. So I would I would tell her that it's like it's okay that you that you don't that it's okay to not like something mm -hmm. and it's okay to change your mind mm -hmm. and it's okay to walk away from things that don't feel good. Yeah, awesome. So it's okay to walk away from things that don't feel good. It's okay to to not be, not like something. It's okay. You don't have exactly. to exactly make excuses to please a situation when you're not happy in that situation. So don't make it's it's okay to walk away. Um, worry is a worry is a prayer. Whatever you're worrying about, that's what you're asking for more of. Uh, stay present. Stay in touch with yourself. Stay in touch with uh, all your senses. What are you feeling, tasting, hearing, seeing? Listen to your body. Feel what's going on for you. It will help you to have a better experience in life in general and even in your sexual yes. relationships. <laughs> so, and also, again, being present. So not looking to the past. Don't time travel to the past. And not time tripping to the future. Being exactly. Did I get everything? Was that everything? Yes. There's more, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you guys can just rewind and just listen to them. So, well, Stacey, honestly, I like the sensuality activist thing. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. I'm grateful. Thank you for doing this work and for sharing such wisdom. No, I didn't, I, when I was younger, I didn't have these kinds of platforms. The internet didn't exist. <laughs> so I'm so grateful that there are people like you, you know, that are doing this work and that, that people don't have to, you know, they don't have to suffer. They don't have to blind themselves. Like, you know, like you don't have to do that. Like I've done it for you. Like, <laughs> wow. So tell me, no, Stacey, honestly, I am sure that there are many people right now who are like, oh my God, they want to connect with you. So if they want to reach out to you, where can they find you? Um, you can go to my website, stacyherrera.com. Mm -hmm. And all, m almost all my social media is stacyherrera.com too. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Stacy Herrera on, um, Stacy in Herrera on Twitter, Stacy in Herrera on, on Instagram. So yeah. So we will be finding you and we will be learning more about how to get in touch with our senses. <laughs> yes. And, for, and if you have any questions, guys, remember, post the questions in the comment section below because Stacey will be here in our VIP special group to answer all your questions. So go ahead and post the questions below so she can answer you and you can interact with her and find out more about this lovely lady. Okay, guys, and also if you want to check out her site, the links should be in the description depending on if you're watching the video on YouTube, it will be below. If you're watching the video on the Facebook group, it will be in the description above. So check out her website, follow her on Instagram, follow her on Twitter, check her out on Facebook, and keep in touch with her. Okay, guys? So thank you so much, Stacey. Keep thank you. An inspiring one. Honestly, it, it has been a privilege and a pleasure for me to have you on this show. Thank so, you. It's been my honor. Awesome. Lots of love. Bye. And we'll see you Bye. in the group. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Remember to leave a question or comment in the comment section below. The Inspiring Ones TV show is brought to you by www.missinspire.com as well as the Inspiration Institute, your home for ultimate success and self-development. Thank you for watching. And see you on the next episode of The Inspiring One TV Show. Bye!